Oh, let me through. Come on through there, lads. Hot slags on headbands there, lads. Come on. <laughs> Buying, buy, buy, who, who's buying off me? Hot bags, and uh, hot dogs there as well. Recalled pork, two, two for three pounds. I don't want any bleeding sterling, by the way, as well. Uh, Paddy Cullen Miraculous Medals, who's for that? Gal Galway Water. Uh, I throw in the crutch as well. Bertie's Miraculous Crutch, 50 quid. Man, yeah, plenty of money. Father Brian Darcy, you're bleeding loaded, sure. You're, the, the son of the world is paying you millions. Come on, uh, come on now. Ah, uh, jeez, look at the, the crowds are in. Huh? Uh, to, come on, wait, 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 just buy something off Bertie's stall, will you just probably say, ah, here, here's the first customer now, it's nice to see him, uh, you know, he's an old scrounger, an old Kerry fella, Mick O'Dwyer, so he'll buy nothing there, uh, he's, he, he's, no, he's no false teeth in either, so he won't have a bleeding clue what he's saying, well, now you don't answer today, <laughs> <laughs> he forgets to put the false teeth in sometimes, you know, but tonight, I'm delighted Jack O'Shea's in the audience, because he owes me a fiver, <laughs> 1978, I won't forget it, Jack. Oh my God, yeah, do you remember the old, the mind of time, the old, the teeth would fall out, you know, onto the bench and do a little dance during the training session, my God, every day days, but everything's very expensive here now, you know, I wouldn't be able to afford any of this, Bertie, you know, I'm only getting me expenses at the minute, you know, <laughs> but ye yeah, Dublin buckos, surely you have the new bra out for the new season as well, you know, all support and no cup. <laughs> <laughs> Bleed now, codger are typical. Uh, 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 oh, Jones's Road is busy today, lads. Uh, 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 the king of the culties is out. What? Bleeding Biff, uh, Brian Cowan. Come on, come on, Biff. Uh, what do you have? Will you have, have a mug of tea? Will you look us in the awfully mug and all? Hang on. <laughs> so the mouth. The mouth you cleanse. <laughs> but the mouth party you say, no, I just don't look at it. I'm not going to buy the table up there, neither. <laughs> Obviously, part of the occasions and night. And, Anniversary to celebrate. I must remember to pay tribute to the women in the GA, of course, and ladies' footballers going forward, obviously, and Kamogi players as well. And besides all them, we mustn't forget the straight women in the GA as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's been, it's, been a, it's been a difficult week in the country, and especially with the news and with Dell, Limerick, and all that. But rest assured, Corporal Willie O'Dee's on the job. Come out here, Willie. Come out here and sort it out, will you? How about the kid? <laughs> Corporal Willie O'Dee on shop, people of Limnock, there's no need to be scared in your beds tonight. <laughs> they don't call me Del Boy for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. We are going to toughen things up in daily, same as I go to toughen up Limerick hurling. You can't go out on the field with a command or a hurl. You need a deadly weapon. This one! <laughs> Freaking hot! Will you tea? Get this, huh? Bertie! What do you think of that? Feeding <laughs> wreck in the place here. Typical Limerick out in the first round. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it'd be quiet. It'd be very quiet in, in Jones's Road after, uh, uh, after the match does be starting because then you, you tune into the wireless and. You, you, you try to you try to hear what, what what's what, what's going on. I'm, I'm tuning at a radio air now. Me me all is shiting on there. I, 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 I wish up lads we hear. Gotta meet the miles of Galair looking out indeed. An amazing week we're having. Cork is all the talk at the moment. The big boss man down there. Is he going to resign? Mass calls for resignation there, but so far Bishop McGee is refusing to leave the palace. <laughs> Oh, yes, there's a lively crowd in here, the clapping, the clapping, no bowing as yet, a very good thing, of course, looking out. The car curlers, they have their new set of conditions out here tonight before they return to play. One of them, the Lee McCarthy Cup, has to be changed to the Jack Lynch Cup. The Kerry football team will have to play in the Ulster Championship instead of Munster as well. First we dry clean, now the car curlers, the only time these langers are making the headlines is when they aren't playing, for goodness sake. The fans are here from far and wide, they come, the, the farmers, the... The, the pheasant and turkey pluckers, the builders, the, the foreigners even, and queer fellows as well. Senator David Norris is down there in the nally stand, I believe. Shreela Mach and Bubbeline, three out of four people prefer Pat's Balan, but there's only the one coming to a senator. Oh, yes! I love a bit of gay lick, I can tell you. Oh, yes! Ooh. And a Fabulous lunch today with that wonderful new incoming president, Christy Cooney. Fabulous fellow. Gonna bring marvelous changes, you know. No more business class for you, little fat cats, Nicky Braden. <laughs> no, no, Christy Cooney is bringing force class only. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. 
got a dishy man in the audience tonight, let me tell you. King Henry, my knight in shining armor. <laughs> Damien Fitzhorny of Wexford, who he is. <laughs> My, oh, my, Sean Kavanagh, well, is that Ryan McMenamin in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me, bum chicka, woo! <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> well, have you thought that's bad? I mean, the most embarrassing thing is when, you know, when you see the poor male lads arriving up, you know, for their once a year, once a year shimmy around the feet. <laughs> They'd make a balls of a pitch invasion even. I think that'd go wide as well. <laughs> uh, look. It's your man. You know, he's clear in McDonald. The other fella does have the hair. He's like his half-brother over in Mayo. The ginger nut, Kenny. Mayo. Mayo. Sam McGuire's coming on my fick. Oh, that song was fairly enough, wasn't it? Even by my standards. Yes, and like that young McDonald fella, I too like to change my hairstyle for every, every new season. Last year, the Caesar crew cut. This year, the Mohican. I am the last of the Mohicans. <laughs> oh, yes. I was a fine footballer in my day, let me tell you. Played number 13, corner forward. Didn't score, because I had the, the lead strapped to the inside leg. There was a bit of a disability in the game. But... <laughs> The big fella I used to call him when jizz, he was able to score at the dinner dances, let me tell you. Oh, who is your sexy daddy? But I'm telling you now, it's been a mighty week in Mayo. Beverly Flynn is after joining the Castle Bar Camogie team. She's so disappointed after losing the independent TD allowance. She's gone after the Shagan Players Grants now. Fucking hell. <laughs> Some bleeding things never change. Uh, after a quiet old day, because it, 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 it is our typical old GAA lads, grab all association, buy nothing. Uh, 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 I'd like to, we, we always finish with an old sing song here. Well, we get Biffo back out for a ballad, will we? Yeah. <laughs> it's about all he can do, isn't it? <laughs> There's a mouth, you know. <clears throat> when they get the mice tuned up, you know. <clears throat> do re mi fa sol la ti do <clears throat> Get your mouth. I went up till, I went up one day till 16. As drunk as drunk could be. I met a Dublin Jack in there, and he shouted up to me. Who owns that flag upon the hill where the Dublin flag should be? I held up the green, white and gold, proud flag of Affili. Ah, the dubs, the dubs, the city of dubs, they want with some no more. They're full of shite and overhyped, the forwards cannot score. They freeze their way through them start, you've heard it all before. They get a few games in August and they're never heard no more. Hang on a second, I don't have to get me speaking here. <clears throat> I went up to Tullamore, as sober as could be. I met the cold chief Biff O'Dare, slurping at his tea. Said, who owns that arse on the Taoiseach's chair where my old arse should be? Can't believe the bleeding country's run by a man from Affili. Ah, the dogs, the dogs, the boys in blue, where would the day they be? A city boys have here 16 by exclusivity. We don't bring house to croaker or flask of mingy tea. Don't give a damn if we don't get Sam, so long as we beat me. Come on, don't forget the air. Come on, buy an L. Spare tickets, point or selling tickets there, lads. <laughs> I don't think. Point or selling, point or selling, lads. Huh? The man of a thousand voices, uh, the incredibly talented Oliver Callum.